All right, welcome to a quick video tutorial about how to utilize Scribble. Um, Scribble is a pretty cool online tool that we will be using to annotate any online text or other online web page sources um, and save them so that we can come back to them. It's really important that as you embark upon doing research that you can annotate and uh, interact with the text because you end up getting more out of the research that you're doing by doing that. Um, and now as more and more research is shifting online, then we have to find other ways to annotate and keep track of our notes on those different sources, which is where Scribble comes in. So first and foremost, you'll want to navigate yourself to scribble.com and it's scribble with just one B. This is the homepage for Scribble. So it's kind of a bookmarking tool. It's an annotation tool. It accomplishes a lot. Um, and I'm just going to give you a quick introduction on how we can use it and the different things that are encompassed within Scribble. So you'll need to sign in I'm just signing in with a Google account that I have linked with school. I suggest you do the same because that way all of your login information is the same. So once I've logged in with that Google account, um, this is what it looks like. If you need to add the Scribble toolbar, say to your personal computer device, you'll go to let's add the toolbar and they'll walk you through certain steps of how to add a bookmarklet, a browser add-on, add um, mobile applications, different things like that. If you need to do that, take a look through, they walk you through how to do that. Otherwise, let's go here to my library. So your library is going to be the place that stores all of your um, Anything that you use Scribble to annotate and save will be stored within your library. So I have an example that I'm going to pull up. So what's pretty nice about Scribble is it allows you to interact with any online text. Um, it could be from one of our research databases, anything like that. This top part is the Scribble toolbar. And it doesn't just pop up on every website that you go to. Once you've installed the bookmarklet, you'll see a little S in a red box that appears on your browser um, bookmarks bar. You'll click that on any website that you want to annotate using Scribble and the bookmark or the toolbar pops up for you. You can move the toolbar from the top from the top to the bottom of the page. You can move it around as you need to. Um, so I've already annotated this article. I'm going to walk you through some of the cool tools that Scribble has. Um, so on the Scribble toolbar, you have an indication that you are signed in. If your little Scribble dude is gray, it means you're not signed in. So you need to make sure that before you do anything with the text, um, that that scribble guy is blue. Next to that is a little building. That's your library and that will open, clicking that will open your library in another window so you can see the other sources that you've done. I recommend if you have any questions about these tools, utilize the hover text. They tell you exactly what it does. Um, you have a highlighting tool which you can also change to all of the colors. Um, same thing with the sticky note tool. You can also make a bunch of different sticky notes. You can change text color on the web page. You can underline, bold, italicize, strike through, whatever you would like to do to help you annotate that source. Um, you have buttons to undo annotations and redo annotations if you accidentally hit them or do something that you didn't want to do. You can show and hide annotations. You can make pages, your notes kind of minimize or maximize depending on what you'd like to do. 
I have a legend in enabled. And so it's this little box over here. This allows me to say anything I've highlighted in pink. For this case, I was highlighting pink um, for pathos, yellow for logos, blue for ethos, and my sticky note colors correspond accordingly. Um, it's a really good tool. It'll help you generate a citation. You can post things to social media using Scribble. You'll want to really pay attention to this link um, button because that link button allows you to create a permalink to share with others. So if you have to turn anything in with Scribble, you'll generate a permanent link with that button to share with your teacher. Um, and something especially important to keep in mind with Scribble is the floppy disk, disk button. Um, unlike Google, it does not save automatically. So you need to make sure that periodically you're going in, you're hitting the save button so that all of your notes and annotations are saved periodically. You can add tags to help you find things uh, later. You can add comments to sources. Um, you have a lot of usability with Scribble. Uh, so, like I said, I really recommend using this when you're, when you're doing research, especially online, um, with things that maybe you don't want to print out tons and tons of pages for, you don't have access to a printer, like we don't have access to printers with Chromebooks. Um, play around with Scribble on their actual website. They have tons of tools and getting started tutorials. What I'm showing you is just a brief overview right now. Um, Stay tuned for some further videos about how to hyper er, create those permanent hyperlinks uh, to submit your research or submit assignments using Scribble to your teacher. Um, thanks for your time. Feel free to watch this as many times as you need to to get a better sense of Scribble.